I knew it was serious though because Kyle of all people started changing. First it was little things like skipping out on watching Cavs games to go to a Detroit hockey game. Um, when Kyle knows nothing about <laughs> hockey and cares nothing about Detroit sports. Um, but when I saw Kyle playing with my then toddler daughter, talking in a high-pitched voice, I knew it was game over. Up until then, Kyle had a history of treating infants and toddlers like they had a social distancing requirement, and this was in like 2018. Um, I was banking on some act of God to change that, and then Rachel walked in. You're an incredible friend, and I know how well that translates over into being a partner, and Kyle is incredibly lucky to have you. Kyle, thank you for being you. I know that's a very generic statement, but I mean that wholeheartedly. You work hard, you know how to have a good time, you're generous, you're funny, sometimes. <laughs> but most importantly, you take care of Rachel the way she deserves to be, and I know that will continue on. If not, I know you know I'm not afraid to square up. <laughs> My wish for you both is that you'll always remember, no matter how many houses you guys may buy, you'll always remain home for each other. Because at the end of the day, it's not the house itself that you want to get to, it's each other and the life you're building together. And you're building a pretty great one. Congratulations. Really? 